Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's Saturday, May 23rd. I'm Lily Wu. And I'm Tanner Swift. A uh, long weekend ahead. This is kind of the unofficial start to summer, Memorial Day weekend. And unfortunately, Mother Nature is not going to really cooperate with us much. Uh, we're going to see it's a damp start to the day. We have a lot of drizzle out there and some storms moving through southwestern Kansas. Today, not a complete washout, but it looks pretty soggy. We're going to have to dodge more rain than, uh, than we're going to see sun today by far. The good news is as the uh, weekend goes on, I think we'll see some increasing chances for at least some pockets of sunshine. <laughs> so if you're trying to plan that outdoor uh, barbecue or, or get together later in the weekend is probably going to be your, your best bet. We do have some showers and storms moving through portions of southwestern Kansas this morning. They moved out of the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle while you slept overnight, lifting off toward the north and the east. Elsewhere around the state, just some spotty showers and some drizzles. We zoom in a little bit closer here into southwestern Kansas. You can see some of those heavier storms from Scott City just to the east of Garden City down through the Mead area. We'll be moving over into Dodge City. The Dodge City radar is actually down, so we're having a little bit of a tough time seeing these storms, but you can see where the uh, where we have the heaviest lightning. That's where we're uh, seeing those heavier storms. Certainly nothing severe out there right now. Some wind gusts around 45 miles per hour. Some heavy rainfall is really the main threat with these storms. Right now here in Wichita, it is foggy. It is drizzly. A few sprinkles out there. It's just a really damp, dreary day. 57 the temperature at the airport. 54 in Great Bend. 57 also in Salina and in Hutch. 53 for you folks out in Dodge City. Here's a look at our day planner for today here in Wichita. Again, a few showers, some drizzle, at least for the first half today. The then more meaningful rainfall uh, chances will increase as we head into the afternoon and especially into the evening hours. Southeast winds at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. I think we're going to see high temperatures today topping out in the mid to upper 60s. It looks like a soggy forecast for the next couple of days. In fact, well into the seven day planner. We'll take a look at that coming up. Thank you, Tanner. Well, new this morning, preliminary ballot numbers show that Ireland has voted in favor of same sex marriage. Voters were, votes were counted early this morning on the same-sex marriage question referendum. It's a contest that pitted the liberal forces of social change against the nation's conservative Catholic Foundation. Polling stations officials say Ireland could top 60 percent turnout nationally for the first time since the country narrowly voted to legalize divorce in 1995. Moments after the news broke out, Pope Francis tweeted, let us invoke the Holy Spirit each day. He guides us along the path of discipleship in Christ. An El Dorado man is stabbed multiple times around 3.30 this morning. It happened in the 400 block of West 4th Avenue. Police say a couple were arguing when a neighbor intervened. He was stabbed and rushed to a Wichita hospital. No arrests have been made, but police continue to investigate. Captain Chris Norgren of Wichita will be laid to rest on June 5th at 10.30 in the morning at St. Catherine's Church. Norgren was one of six United States Marines killed in the helicopter crash while conducting relief efforts in Nepal. In the crime tracker now, a Clearwater teenager is recovering from a gunshot wound that he suffered during a scuffle with suspected burglars. It happened at a rural home in southwest Sedgwick County around 9.30 Thursday night. A 17-year-old called 911 saying two men broke into his house and he ended up getting shot. I don't have any indication that there have been um, any increase in burglaries out in that area. I mean, this is particularly concerning because, uh, you know, breaking into a house like that and confronting someone in the house, uh, this is not something burglars normally want to do. The teen told investigators he was not alone. He says the men left in a car, but he didn't see what it looked like. An elderly Wichita woman is without her car after she says two people robbed her at gunpoint. It happened around 8 p.m. Thursday night at a home on South Osage near West 27th Street. Cake's Madeline Anderson talked to the victim about that frightening experience. Thursday evening, this 85-year-old woman says she was home watching TV as usual when she heard an unexpected knock. It was this kid that I would swear was this boy that has come here off and on to see about getting work. She says a teen who's helped her around the house in the past was at the front door, along with an older man she didn't recognize. They asked her if they could make a couple quick bucks by doing a job for her. She said she had nothing for them. That's when she says they pushed their way inside. He or he says, take that pill and put it in front of your face. She says the older man was calling the shots. He put a gun to her head and demanded money. He informed me 
that if I talked to anybody, he knew where I lived and he'd be back to kill me. She says the two guys then took her keys and drove off with her car, a blue 2008 Hyundai Tucson. What, I, what amazed me, I think I was more froze than scared. I wasn't scared. The woman says she wasn't hurt, but she was shocked the teen had betrayed her trust. All I could think about was him. You're, you're just a sophomore, go be a junior this year. You're ruining your life. You don't hold up somebody that has been nice to you for years. The car is described as a blue 2008 Hyundai Tucson with some kind of rack on top. If you have any information, you're asked to call police. Cake on Your Side has some personal safety tips from military.com to protect against home invaders. Come up with a code word that helps your family know when to escape. Make it easy and something everyone understands. Pick a safe room. Make it a place where everyone meets and you can protect yourself from invaders. Make sure you have a phone and something to defend yourself with. And stay in the safe room until police arrive. Travel is expected to be busy this weekend. AAA estimates more than 37 million Americans will travel at least 50 miles from home. It's expected to be the highest travel volume for the holiday in more than 10 years. But most drivers should expect to pay the lowest Memorial Day gas prices in at least five years. The national average for a gallon of gas is 266. In Wichita, it's around 254. We should expect to see a ton of people traveling by car this year, especially because this is the lowest that gas prices have been since 2009 for Memorial Day weekend. Um, even though that the average gas price right now in Wichita is about $2.50 a gallon. Here are some additional tips for staying safe while you travel. AAA recommends all drivers have an emergency road kit. It should include jumper cables if your battery dies, a flashlight if you have trouble in the dark, and a first aid kit almost is also recommended. Airline passengers will either have more company in flight or more empty seats. That's because some airlines are starting to add more capacity in the air. Southwest Airlines is leading the charge by increasing plan growth this year by nearly 8 percent. The head of American Airlines worries that's growing capacity too much too quickly. Other airlines say they will also increase passenger capacity. Such changes could impact airfares. The prediction for this summer is that airfares might be a, a percentage point or two lower to the same. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of increases for the summer travel. Bud Headley predicts that by this fall or the holidays, airlines will try to pass increased airfares onto customers. The Sedgwick County Zoo reopens its tropics building after a year of renovations. The exhibit is now filled with more animals and bright, lush vegetation. More light getting into the building allows for more plants to grow. Visitors say the reopening adds something back to the zoo and is an improvement to the old building. We're already starting to see a lot of birds we've never seen before. The quality is what I'm impressed with. It is gorgeous. It's amazing. It's top, top notch. The Sedgwick County Zoo is open from 8.30 to 5 daily. The Honor Your Hero blood drive is underway across Wichita, and the Red Cross needs more blood this Memorial Day weekend. The Honor Your Hero drive is so people here in Wichita can honor someone special and help save a life by giving blood. Today's blood drive runs from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Just head on over to the Wichita Blood Donation Center. That's at 707 North Main Street.